Hello and welcome back to New Vegas everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Displacer Glove and Pushy. These are two of the very last unarmed weapons that we need to talk about. Um, I guess besides our bare hands, but I probably won't make a dedicated video to that because your bare hands are generally weaker than most of the unarmed weapons, but they're not a terrible weapon overall. The Displacer Glove, on the other hand, is actually a really good unarmed weapon, and this is probably going to be one of the mid to late game unarmed weapons that you're finding. The Displacer Glove can appear on a couple different enemies. You can also buy this from a few places. The main enemy that I associate the Displacer Glove with is Caesar himself because this is what he has, although his guards all have Ballistic Gloves, so you would probably argue that the Ballistic Glove is a little bit better, it has higher base stats, but the Displacer Glove does have some of its own unique advantages. So let's go over the stats of the Displacer Glove. This one will require 100 unarmed and 4 strength in order to wield. Fairly low strength, which I think is one of the biggest bonuses to the Displacer Glove. It doesn't take very much strength in order for you to have this uh, be pretty effective. 100 unarmed, you can rush pretty fast, especially if you're going with a dedicated unarmed build. This one does 50 damage on hit, which is pretty high. 68 damage per second, which is also pretty good. 50 crit damage, same as its regular damage. A one-time script modifier, which is average. Cost 28 action points, pretty much the standard for most unarmed weapons. Weighs 6 weight and has 100 item HP. These stats are all around pretty good. I would consider the Displacer Glove just kind of an upgrade to a regular Power Fist, although you might not consider it necessarily an upgrade to other Power Fists, like some of the unique ones, or even the fully modded out one. They are fairly similar then, uh, at least if you want to compare those two. And since Displacer Gloves are somewhat later into the game, they may not be worth going for unless you're running specifically a lower strength character. And the unique version of this is even better. It also has its own visual effect, although the visual effect doesn't actually grant you any extra damage. It's not like the Zap Glove that we talked about not too long ago that will do EMP damage to robots. It's a very similar visual effect to like the Ballistic Glove, where it can somewhat blind you if you're punching enemies at close range, but it's not as bad as like the Zap Glove is. For the major pros of the Displacer Glove, this one does have good damage and good damage per second. It is an all around pretty decent unarmed weapon. Major con to this one is really just that it's rare. You're not really going to be able to find Displacer Gloves too often unless you want to rush and kill Caesar and then you can take it off of him. That can work. The Brotherhood can sell these. I think there's a couple other vendors that can sell them too. I'm not real familiar with the Displacer Gloves since generally I skip this and either go with the unique version because it's fairly easy to get or I end up going and just getting like a Ballistic Fist from Caesar's guards and I just use that instead. There are quite a few perks that help out with this. The general perks that help out with melee and unarmed are all here. So Slayer to attack faster, Super Slam to knock down enemies, Purifier to kill things like Death Claws and Super Mutants, and Piercing Strike to punch through more armor. All of those are fantastic perks to have on an unarmed or a melee build, or both. And the Displacer Glove overall is a pretty decent unarmed weapon. I do kind of like this, I like the visual effect of it, and it does have pretty good stats. For the Displacer Glove overall, I think I'd probably put this one up into A tier. I think it's pretty decent. It's not one of the best unarmed weapons. Like I said, usually by the time I'm getting it, I would just go with the Ballistic Fist, which I think is a little bit better than it. But it's not a bad option, especially if I'm not running a very high strength unarmed character, which is kind of unusual since melee and unarmed go so well together and melee does benefit from having extra strength so it's it does feel kind of a niche especially if you don't want to be primarily going with melee and unarmed but it does feel a little bit awkward compared to some of the other unarmed weapons let's talk about the unique variant of it called pushy pushy can be found all the way up north at ruby mine inn this one you can actually rush to right away if you want to go there it actually won't take you very long if you're willing to run up uh, around the Black Mountain shortcut and then head on straight to Vegas because then it's just up the way a little bit past the plant vault and then it's one of the mines on the right hand side as you're going up towards Jacobstown. Um, once you go into there then it will be full of Lake Larks which is a pretty scary enemy especially early on because they can do a lot of damage with their sonic attacks but assuming you can just run past them or you can kill them and then get to the end of this you can find pushy on the body of a raider and pushy is a very strong unarmed weapon this one also requires 100 unarmed but only two strength to wield it's actually one of the lowest strength requirement unarmed weapons and just one of the lowest requirements for any weapon which makes it great on really any character because even if you're going with a single strength character Getting one strength is really easy, either from using chems like buff out or just drinking will get you one strength. You could also just have power armor on, weapons handling makes it so you can use this, uh, having the reinforced spine from Mobile Blues or getting the strength implant all make it so pushy becomes a pretty viable option. You still probably want high unarmed to use it. 
but the strength is a very low requirement. This one does 60 damage per hit, which is pretty high. 88 damage per second. This one does attack seemingly a little bit quicker than the regular Displacer Glove. This one does 60 damage on crit, has a one times crit modifier, costs 28 action points, weighs six weight, and has 120 item HP. And this one can be an absolutely fantastic weapon if you want to rush it. Not too long ago, I did a run on New Vegas where I was using dead bodies only and weapons that I found on dead bodies and they had to be specifically on bodies. As soon as I found Pushy, the game became a lot easier because I just basically switched to that as my primary go-to weapon uh, for anything close range and it kind of just beat up everything. So Pushy was quite a strong uh, option there for that particular build. And this one is all around just really good. I would put Pushy probably all the way up into S tier. I think it's a very good unarmed weapon. May not be my favorite because I think I'd rather go with the Ballistic Fist or the Fist of Rar over this one, but Pushy is still a very solid one. And again, if you're going with a low strength character, then Pushy can be fantastic. Or if you're doing a, a kind of a weird run like I was doing, can also be a very, very strong weapon. Tell me your thoughts on the Displacer Glove and Pushy down below. I think that these are pretty cool weapons and I do use Pushy a little bit. I basically never use the Displacer Glove though. Thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.